All right, so yesterday, on complete accident, I took a picture of this fancy little fern and this fancy little vase and these fancy little sea urchins. And um, everyone had questions about it. So you can see Emily just literally, she got really high tech there, as you can see. She made swirls in the sand. But she added the sand to it. And so where'd you come up with the idea? You just were, like, goofing off? Pretty much. We just, have a bunch of seashells in the store, and I wanted to make something that looked seashell, beachy inspired. So I just grabbed a plant. This is a fern yep. that looks very aquatic-like. And I grabbed our fishbowl-looking container. Sweet, sweet, filled sweet. Filled it with some sand. Put the fern in here to kind of anchor it down. Yeah. And then I used the urchins that we carry in the store. To kind of disguise the pot, I just place them all around and build it up so that you can't see the actual pot of the fern. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So that is like one of those uh, kangaroo palms. It's a, it's, it's mm -hmm. got the crazy little fingers on it, which is kind of really neat. So, but one of the other really neat things that we do, um, you know, we use the little gra glass jars like that that I just dropped in place right about there. That's really neat, and I'll show you what we did with ours as we use them for little mushroom holders. Now, we use these as decorative um, features and lots of the different things that we do here in the store. But, you know, it's a great little accent, adds nice color, works really well on a table. And so you can see she's still working on that. And then also, we have these super cool, and I'm pulling it over here, terrariums that you see, these are tribe terrariums, and what's cool about this is they can go all different kinds of angles, as you see. Um, they have like the little pigeonhole in there, and they have this little base that you can add to it. That is a great way for them to hold in place. So you can see Emily's just adding away, you know, as she's working on it. It's really, really simple. Lots of things that we do around here aren't high, they aren't really super difficult, it's just you know, be, taking the creative time to think about it. Um, one of the other things we use a lot is the moss. We like to use this in lots of different types of products mm -hmm. and displays and... That's actually what's in this terrarium. It's uh, really easy to break apart and just use small pieces and put it around, you know, a succulent or a flower. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, as I promised that we would show you actually how we did it, there actually is no soil in this. She used, like you said, she used the sand, little white sand. That's play sand, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Where did you get it? You could buy it um, anywhere. I got this one from Petco. Okay, so good old Petco always comes in handy for some of our terrarium supplies. But really simple, all the products that you see here, including the nice little uh, linen blouse that's in the background, mm -hmm. are all sold on the Garden Gates online or in the store. All right, thanks again. Anytime you have questions, you can find us on Facebook at The Garden Gates or go online at thegardengates.com. Thanks, Emily. Sure.